Well, I play Hunter Cole. Um, I basically come into the show and um, I guess uh, I shake things up a little bit with the Red Banders. Um, more so, I think, with Kara's character. She's kind of um, the girl that does whatever she wants, whenever she wants, you know. And I think my character comes in and really grounds her. And so far, what they've been giving me as material has been wonderful, and we have a lot of chemistry, and there might be a little love connection between us. So that, that's what you guys get to see in the next episode. So does he find her high maintenance to be charming? <laughs> um, I think so, but I think for Hunter, like he, he, he has her by, you know, the balls per se. <laughs> um, he knows exactly that it's just a front, that she's not, real, this isn't really who she is. She just, you know, dealing with what everybody's dealing with in the hospital. You know, sometimes people aren't truthful or they're not themselves because they don't know how to deal with what they're going through. And I think that's a big, uh, Let's see, um, just a, a big thing that Kara is dealing with right now, and that's why she acts the way she is. And I think when Hunter first meets her, he, he spots it right away. He knows exactly what she's doing. He's like, this is a front. I'm going to try and get under her skin and try to find out the real her. And as the episodes progress, you kind of see that happen. And, you know, she has her heart condition, and you actually get to see her develop a heart. You see that she has emotions, that she, she's a caring person. And I think that's going to be wonderful for the audience members to see her character, like, have that arc. And hopefully people like my character. <laughs> Does Hunter get to meet her moms? Um, I have not met them yet. I've seen them on the shows uh, that I haven't been in. But, um, you know, we will see. I hope I get to. Hopefully they keep me on long enough to meet them. <laughs> to have any interactions with Octavia? Um, we do. Nothing, it hasn't been anything great so far. We haven't um, had any crazy scenes, but um, in this next upcoming episode that we shoot, we have a pretty delightful scene. I'm excited to work with her because she's like just an amazing, amazing person. You know, you have this whole perception of somebody and, you know, I was nervous to meet her and work with her, but she's so kind, warm. And she's there, and she's here to, you know, we're all here to make a good show and make the best possible show. And to have somebody like that part of it, you know, I'm thrilled to be here. <laughs> Can you tease, like, why he's in the hospital and how long he may be staying? Yes. Um, what I can say is that he has a bunk liver. Um, I can't reveal how he got that, but he's having some issues with that. And, you know, like I said, I don't really know how long I'm going to stay. <laughs> I hope I stay throughout the show, but um, I think it's that type of show where they got to keep, keep things, keep the drama side of it up. And, you know, in this type of show, I think they got to kill somebody sometime. You know, <laughs> I hope it's not me, <laughs> but we'll see. Gotcha. And what would you say is the most challenging part about playing this particular role? Um, I think the most challenging part is he's terminally ill and I can't relate to that you know I've done my research on how people react or how what they do to keep their spirits high and you know you as an actor you got to make the choice of where is this person coming from and how is he dealing with it and I think I've made the choice that you know he's he's a realist he's kind of the, uh, the mentor that comes in and tells everybody hey we're not here to fall in love or make friendships I mean this is, you know, this could be the end of the, end of the line at any moment. You could die, you could survive, so it's been fun. You mentioned Hunter's liver. Could he have had an addiction problem kind of like Kara does? Uh, I would hope. I would <laughs> hope. That would, be a, that would be a good resolution to why he has a bunk liver, but like I said, I can't really reveal yet what it's, what the cause of it is, but got some good stuff coming. So are you in every episode from the next one on, from what you um, are aware so of? So far, I've been in six through ten, and then I don't really know what my fate is after that. So, That's yeah, so we will see. <laughs> were you watching, I mean, you mentioned you saw her parents before you actually joined the show, but were you watching the show before you landed the part, or did you catch up once you got the part? It's funny, because uh, I think the show premiered September 17th, and that was right when I got the audition for the job, and they sent me the link to the pilot, and the second I saw it, I, I fell in love with it. I hadn't seen material or a show like this 
ever on TV. So the second I saw it, I said to my agent, I need to go out for it. And uh, it was like a month and a half later, they told me I got the job. So it's, it's one thing to be, you know, a working actor, but to be working on something that you're actually passionate about, it, it brings it to a different level, you know? So. Can you talk a bit about your experience filming in Atlanta? It's been fun. It's my first time actually shooting outside of California. Um, it was definitely a big change for me the first two weeks, getting adjusted with, you know, living out of a hotel. But the cast, the crew, everybody's so friendly here. I'm just thankful to, uh, hey. <laughs> um, I'm just thankful to be a part of the cast, you know. Uh, he strikes up a relationship with Kara, but is the red, the rest of the Red Band Society as receptive to Hunter, or? You know, I think they have their doubts. They don't really understand, uh, you know, what I'm doing necessarily, but we have a great, me and Kara have great chemistry as far as I think she knows that I'm here for a good reason and I've got a good heart and you know I'm, I'm not a I, Hunter's not a bullshitter he, he <laughs> says it how it is so that's always fun to play but you know maybe the other characters they're, they're actually younger than me I think in the show um, I just wanted to come in and be the mentor for everybody and kind of tell them how it is and you know like I said that we're, we, we're in a hospital we're playing terminally ill patients of course, we want to make the best of the situations, but, you know, it's it's heavy subject matter, and the end result could be death, and they need to understand that. Thank you.